everybody and welcome to uh, another playthrough of the game that I'm making in my game dev journal. You can check that out if you want. It's now officially called Dragon Blade. Again, uh, sorry, this uh, I haven't been uploading today. I was actually working a little bit on an intro for the videos that's uh, on fanzoid.com, uh, which has a really good system to you know build the intro. Mine is very simple, you, you saw it uh, in the beginning of this video. Uh, that being said, you can check out their website. Uh, I'm gonna link the tutorial that uh, I checked out uh, to learn how to do this. And yeah, uh, let's get uh, to the game. Alright, so I was kind of hoping uh, that I would have uh, uh, the crafting system ready for this playthrough, but unfortunately I don't. Uh, I have been working more on quests, etc. But the good part is that uh, Ward Neron's quest, I think, is finally complete uh, for the for the good side character. And since on other playthroughs we've only be played the bad the bad uh, side, the bad morale character, uh, I was thinking that this time we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do it the other way around. So let's start a new game. Oops, sorry. My character is in testing position. <laughs> Let me just do this real quick. Uh, check out, because I think I'm cheating a little bit here. Yep, I'm cheating. Alright, now we're ready. Now you can move through the house. You can check out. Uh, you can check out what different objects, uh, what kind of info they are gonna give you. Uh, it all, uh, even the objects have uh, sometimes information that's gonna tie into the storyline uh, somehow, some some way. Uh, but yeah, they are a little bit more optional. Uh, let's go and talk to the main character's father here, and this time we're gonna go the good route. I'm not uh, like I, I read through all of these uh, in the first first playthrough, but I'm, I guess I should read them again because they're gonna be different in a lot of, uh, a lot of cases. Uh, the word nutrients in this quest is gonna be replaced with some kind of uh, magical potion. So yeah, uh, it's just that uh, I placed it there so that I remember what the quest is about. So we're gonna go here. All right, I'm heading off because this is the good option. And even though we don't have a crafting system, we can go ahead and collect some resources because we can actually sell those. Now you can. Uh, you're probably gonna notice that some of the plants I collect disappear, some of them stay right there. And the reason uh, for that is uh, that I'm testing two different uh, systems. Obviously in one of them the plants just disappear after the player picks them up. But uh, in others, uh, in the other, uh, the plants reappear after a certain amount of time, let's say 10 minutes or something like that. So the player can go back and uh, collect more resources. Uh, again, this system is not very clean. Uh, there seems to be some kind of bug that I cannot, uh, I cannot find. To be completely honest with you guys, but I'll keep looking. And if I, if I find it, I'll clear it out. Uh, I'll clear it out. But uh, again, uh, I don't know what the what, what's going on with that one. Ah. <clears throat> ah, you finally arrived. Your father said you'd be stopping by. He didn't say it, uh, it would be this late in the day, though. And we're gonna go. I'm sorry I'm late here. Oh, no matter. Your father's nutrients are in the back of my closet over there. You can go and find them yourself. Okay, let's go and do that. I already know where they are, obviously, because <laughs> uh, uh, I made the game, but... Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of options here. You can look through the house. I'm not gonna show you all of them. Again, uh, uh, the items are interactable. Obviously, we can steal for a potion, a health potion from here. But since we're trying to play the good morale character and everything, we're not gonna do that. One more more thing I would like to point out is that uh, we can actually buy stuff from the witch 
uh, if you rem if you watch the other playthroughs, we couldn't do that uh, simply because uh, we were playing uh, a bad character. We were you know insulting everybody. We insulted the witch, so she didn't want to sell stuff to us. Anyways, let's go back here. I'm gonna try to make these uh, playthroughs about 20 minutes long. Let's go to the mayor. Ah, hello young man. You, I know you must be wondering why I call you here. And we're gonna go uh, with yes here. Well, the village innkeeper has disappeared and since our village uh, was abandoned, the only men left are me, you and, uh, and your father. Actually, that's not true. There's the fisherman as well, but uh, the fisherman didn't exist before I created this quest, so this is just like one more thing that I will need to uh, have in mind. Let me just add fisherman. To mayor quest. Okay, I've written this down. That's perfect. Uh, your mother, uh, your father. Uh, I'm sorry. Your father might have been a warrior once, but uh, he is now too old. Uh, and my, I'm afraid my old battle injuries won't allow me to go for a look for her. Uh, so we can go sure I will do it Sunny is a uh, friend you can ask him where was she was seen etc but uh, I already know these uh, things so I'm gonna go ahead and find her but before we do that we're just gonna go to the old mayor's uh, to the old fisherman's house and we're gonna accept another quest here so his friend used to manage an old mine, and then some monsters appeared. His friends, uh, his friend managed to get out of all of the old workers, but uh, he probably died in there. But we have to go and make sure. Now, battles are really hard in the beginning, and they're not completely balanced yet. But they're ba balanced until until a certain point. In the beginning, you have to play smart. Uh, whether you're playing the good or bad morale character, you have to play very smart and take advantage of the opportunities that the game presents you in this very early area so that you can survive. Because the minions, uh, both here and in the dungeon, are not easy to beat. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that right now, because uh, we're gonna collect uh, about 30 gold, I think. It's 10 gold for slime, so that's 3 cents, uh, so that's 30 gold. Uh, and we're gonna kill another pack of slimes before we go for bigger minions. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we need uh, some health potions. It would be very smart to get some health potions. Not that you cannot absolutely kill a larger minion without them. Like if you're really, really lucky, you might get a weapon like the blobs and uh, and the skeletons. I think have a very small chance to uh, drop a weapon. There is a, a possibility for you to pass through these uh, early levels a little bit faster. These guys are almost dead. And soon they're not gonna do a lot of damage to us. Actually, they're not gonna do any damage to us. Because uh, we're gonna level up. Get a little bit stronger. I'm kinda hoping they will drop a potion, because there's a chance that they will drop a potion as well, and it's a little bit bigger. Oh, we found casual clothes and a potion. Casual clothes you can only use to sell, because you already start with, uh, with them. We actually have two potions. That's perfect. Oh, uh, basic potions heal for about 120. You're probably not gonna have access to greater potions until you get to the first city in the game, uh, which is, you know, this is just a basic area for the player to get, uh, to, you know, find out a little bit about the game, how it's gonna run, that uh, he has choices to make, etc. But uh, 
maybe that's just a second. Um, oh, right, 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 it doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, but after you get through this area, you're gonna go get to a city. The first city is gonna be Tolem City, uh, where, well, it's quite large and you're gonna check it out in this playthrough. So I'm not gonna, I'm try, I'll try to not give away too much. As you can see, they're doing uh, no damage, that means like just zero damage. The blobs are the easiest enemy that you're gonna encounter. But there's a few very crappy enemies along the way as well. As long as uh, as soon as you get to the wasps and scorpions, you're just kind of screwed a little bit. If you haven't, uh, if you, if you haven't uh, been extremely lucky with the drops, or in the other case, you should do a little bit of the, of the quest and grind. You know, just kill a few monsters. And then you're not gonna have that many problems, but they still have like poison and stuff like that, and uh, it's not fun. But you know, every game has to be a little bit challenging at uh, some points. So yeah, if you guys have, by the way, any ideas or any suggestions about the game, uh, at the moment you're watching the. Uh, of course, the, the game is going to have different every, uh, endings, different playthroughs. At the moment, you're watching the good morale playthrough, if I can call it like that. Uh, this is empty. Uh, I'm going to the right, because uh, this is where we will find... Uh, the corpse of the fisherman's uh, friend. Now, due to my nephew playing this game, I, I couldn't actually input a uh, skeleton or corpse in there. I did put a few of them uh, in later dungeons, though. And the story does get quite dark because he doesn't understand English and uh, and he, and he's uh, quite young to understand the grim tone of some of the quests, uh, especially if you're playing like the evil route. Uh, again, I've played through the evil route a couple of times now, and you guys can ch always uh, check it out. Jesus Christ, I think they're gonna beat me. I think they're gonna fucking beat me. Dude, they're gonna beat me. No. I don't wanna die in my own game. <laughs> Actually, that that has happened before. A bunch of times. Just don't know. Stop evading my fucking every hit, dude. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. Yes. Oh, we're going to the witch. Oh, we don't need to go to the witch. We actually learned how to kill. But actually, I'm, I, I am gonna go to the witch. We need to save our mana, we are not gonna... There's no mana potions in the game. Just a decision I made at some point. Uh, hey dude, I haven't completed the quest yet, sorry. I actually just wanna go to the witch to buy some healing potions, because your quest is fucking painful. And we're gonna buy three of those. Perfect. Uh, let's just use them so we don't waste uh, turns. Okay, so we are almost full health and uh, we have 25 mana, which is enough for more than a few uh, healing uh, spells. And they heal for a lot, at least in the beginning of the game. That's why I went left first and killed all the blobs, it's so I could get level 3 as soon as I killed the first skeletons. And you saw that was really, really scary. I should have gone back and bought potions because I had money, and I could have made that uh, that fight a lot easier on myself, but I didn't. Again, it's the game is based on choice. Like you can make it uh, so that it's very easy for you. I recommend say, saving often so that you don't lose progress. The, of course, the game allows you to save at any point that you like. All right, we are almost done with this block. It's, it's, let me check out, didn't we get some kind of weapon? Like, I, I, I've never been so 
unfortunate with drops really <laughs> we actually didn't get anything oh my god oh we're we're gonna get a sword from a quest soon but yeah we could have gotten stuff that's like that would have made everything so much easier obviously you can see the skeletons are doing a lot more damage than the blocks were harder to hit as well they can blind you they have a chance to blind you again I highly recommend going uh, west when you enter this dungeon at the beginning and we're gonna go to the coffin here and you picked up 25 gold and a strange medallion from the corpse not like he needs them I wonder whose it is of course it's uh, like a uh, fisherman's quest where we have to bring it back to him to show that we found his friend oh man I, I'm just like so unhappy with my uh, with the drops I, I usually have so much more like I at least have a hand axe or, some, uh, or something like that's the most basic weapon I think in the game I think I, I'm actually even going to change the name, it's not going to be a hand axe, it's going to be something like uh, Lumberjack's axe or something like that, just not even a fighting axe. But yeah, it would have made things so much easier here. We found the butter, does that even improve us? I don't think so. I don't think so. But there's money in these chests, so let's go get them, collect them. Sorry about the Spotify commercials, by the way. Oh, I did collect these. Finally. This dude is gone. We have almost made it to the innkeeper that we're trying to save. So uh, these are the final skeletons. Let me check my health though. Uh, no potions. And I haven't, still haven't gotten level 4. Uh, that's awful. And we're gonna have to use our first skill and enter the fight. Uh, in the beginning, like in the very first area, I'm wondering, like I'm moving over if you want to put it that way, whether or not to uh, allow the player to choose whether or not he wants to enter a fight in the beginning of the game. Dude, they blinded me on the very first turn. That sucks. Uh, anyways, or uh, or not, but definitely fights are not gonna be optional for the player later into the game. I'm just thinking about it for the tutorial level, uh, and also mobs are static in the tutorial level. Uh, the tutorial level being this village and these first few quests. As soon as we exit, like you're gonna see it, cause mobs are gonna start moving and etc. Uh, anyways, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm mulling over whether or not to leave battles optional in the beginning of the game because that was an old system that I was gonna do, but uh, decided why the, why should the player have optional uh, fights if uh, he's gone close enough to a monster to actually get attacked. So yeah, uh, I removed that system. I actually made it so that they're not optional at all, and they immediately start if the player or even if the monster touches the player. Uh, later in the game, but for the tutorial level, it actually makes sense just to introduce, you know, the player to the game. Mm, maybe. And finally, we have leather armor, and now we can go and uh, grab our uh, sword. Uh, sorry, leather armor. Do we have anything else? Anything? Nothing really. Wow. Wow. Jesus. So. So unlucky. In my own game, really. Anyways, let's let's go and sell those casual clothes and uh, 
Yeah, no schedule clothes because we didn't get anything. It's a stupid game. <laughs> uh, we actually got some resources so we can sell those. Again, I haven't included crafting yet, so they're not useful to us uh, for anything else except uh, money. But we got 150 gold just from the just from the casual clothes, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and buy a whole bunch of potions. Uh, four. And we're gonna save our game here at save number four. No, I'm not gonna use skill, I'm gonna use potions so that with it we don't waste uh, any of our mana. We're gonna need it to get to Fallen City. There's quite. Uh, well, the mobs there are a little bit harder. And. Let's go to the innkeeper now, because she's she can be found in her inn. By the way, you couldn't enter the inn before I didn't try because I knew I couldn't enter it until you saved the innkeeper. Uh, if it's not uh, it's not really clear, but she actually gave us a health potion. We get one before, and now we have to. I really need to fix this one as well. I'm gonna write it down, but just in a second, because uh, I wanna finish the quest first and. Uh, we finish that by going to the mayor who gave us the original quest. Thank you, go ahead and take one of my swords as a reward and come back to me. I will do that, thank you. You take one of the swords and place it in your backpack. Perfect, so now we can immediately go to here and we can equip the sword. We can talk to the mayor again. And his conversation line is different now than uh, the, when we went the evil route, he just, uh, like, if you were a uh, douchebag to him, he was just like, okay, you have your reward, get out of my house. But in this case, he's like, thank you, lad, you have helped me greatly, the sword suits you, maybe I'll be uh, you'll become a great warrior, greater warrior than both me and your father, speaking of whom, he has been searching for you. So it's, it's a bit different, just like... This is the beginning of the game, the getting different for the good and the bad character. Uh, from this little village on, the game gets very different for both. So let's go ahead and, and check out the, the fisherman as well, because we had a quest with him. And he's gonna give us a reward. I don't know what the reward was uh, uh, that the fisherman gave us. To be completely honest with you. And I don't see any re reward, so he probably doesn't give us yet. I'll have to think of a reward that the player is gonna get, probably a bandana or something like that. And you can see that the conversation line is different uh, when you're able, when you uh, go to your father after you finish this final quest in the village. He's like, uh, I don't know, he was like ungrateful as ever, whatever, he's, he was just glad to get rid of you. Here he's like explaining uh, about your mother, he, uh, he welcomes you in a different way, he's kind of sad to see you go, even though he's a card ass, and throughout the game he, uh, he is a card ass, he's gonna make an appearance later in the game as well, uh, not in the demo version, in the version uh, that's gonna come out soon. Uh, back when we were young, you see the world of Na wasn't uh, closed off to us, portals existed everywhere, and I myself have traveled once into the world of the spirits as a young soldier. Spirits roam the world of Ash, and we humans of, uh, also often travel to the realm of Na as well. But then uh, war erupted, and the harmony we had was lost. Ah, I miss those days. Those days. I miss your mother. Uh, she was on the front lines, leading thousands of men. Her battalion entered the portal to, uh, uh, portal to Na on a special mission. That's the last I heard of her. After that, the ports to Na were closed. Closed. If you really want to find out what happened to your mother, you need to travel and try and find any of the other members of the seven. And he's not gonna have any more information to give me. I can, you know, I can try to ask him more. Can I find the seven? But he's just gonna be like, "Do I look like I'm different?" <laughs> or something like that. I, I was just a lonely soldier, you know. I cannot tell you. Uh, you can ask him for any directions. I think that's that's not gonna help us as well. And we're gonna say alright, I'm off. 
Now, this is the, I think, the only territory in the game that you cannot visit twice. The village, the entrance area to the city of, uh, of Tolem. And here you can see I'm collecting. And now I'm gonna show you the bug that I was talking about before. With You see those white plants over here? They're the ones that respawn after a certain amount of time. But when I go ahead and pick it up, you can see it changes its graphic. It's graphic, it's sprite, for... I cannot tell you what the reason is, I've checked the sprites a thousand times, I'm using the correct sprites, I'm not using any other sprites than the white flower, but for some reason it's just giving me this bug, it automatically changes to the white flower again, and it's gonna wait a certain number of times, of time, and it's gonna allow us to pick it again. But yeah, that's uh, the beginning of the game. I think... Oh, let me check out. Yeah, we're definitely done for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna upload uh, the next episode. Uh, it's probably tonight, a little bit later. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, we're playing the Blue Drought this time. And yeah, uh, see you around.